Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is one of the numerous videos I'll be doing to the Back to Basics. How much RAM memory does a computer actually need and what is RAM memory? What does it do? So you buy a computer and you look at the specs and you see something like 4 gigabytes DDR3 RAM or memory and you're wondering, okay, first of all, what is RAM? What you see here on your screen is a typical module in your computer for RAM memory. RAM is random access memory. It is the tool that your computer is using all the time to make it fast. Think of RAM as a workspace. Say you've got a workspace, you've got a big table where you got your tools when you're doing something. The bigger the table, the more tools you have to access real fast. Same thing for RAM memory and computer. While you're turning on your computer, the operating system loads in the RAM memory and all the tools that it needs are in RAM memory. When you actually you know, use a browser, you decide that you use your browser, you do something about it, this goes into RAM memory. It's so fast that RAM memory is something major in a computer. Now, in the analogy of using a, a workspace, if your table or your workspace is very small, what happens? You can't have all the tools on your table. You have to put tools on other tables. And you know what? You gotta stand up and get tools on the other table in order to continue your work because your, all your tools are not there. Well, RAM memory, when it's too small, computer does the same. It has to put tools somewhere else to use them. And so, typically, it's going to use the hard drive. But a hard drive is, you know, hundred thousand times slower than RAM memory. So it slows down the computer if you don't have enough RAM. So think of it as the workspace of your computer. Think of it as being something that the computer needs to have its tools really, really accessible at the fastest speed possible. And that's why we have RAM memory. Now, how much RAM is enough RAM? Let's go look at my task manager here. And you can do the same by right-clicking at the bottom in the taskbar, going to the Performance tab, and checking out CD memory. Now you see here, I've got 8 gigabytes of DDR3. Now, just to let everybody know, DDR is the generation of the RAM used here. So now we're at DDR4, there's DDR5. Um, each generation technically is faster than the previous one. So, of course, if you see a computer with DDR4 memory, it's typically going to be faster than a computer that has DDR3 memory. Um, so, how much RAM is enough RAM? It all depends on what you do. But as a typical rule, and for most people that don't you really do that much with your computer in general, I often say 4 gigabytes is probably enough for the majority of people. 8 gigabytes, if you're a heavy user, somebody that will uh, have multiple windows open at the same time doing different things. If you are a user of software like you know Photoshop and you uh, actually want to um, edit you know big files like big pictures or you know big videos and stuff like that, maybe go to 8 gigabytes is uh, not a bad idea. Um, more than 8, I tend to think for 99.9% .9 of people more than 8 is wasting money. Um, there is a very, very small percentage that, of course, will have 16 or 32 gigabytes and that will benefit from it because of what they do, but it's a very small, very small portion of users. So if you've got 8, you've got enough. If you've got 4, you probably have enough. And you know, you can visually know about this just by checking out here your memory usage graphic. If this is 
you know, below 50% all the time, you don't really need more RAM memory. If sometimes you're at 80 or 90%, uh, that means maybe you could think about upgrading the RAM to a little more because that means that you are using a lot of it and uh, don't use tools that you know try to uh, lower the amount you use or things like that that's not the way to do it the way to do it is to upgrade the RAM not to use programs that will optimize RAM it's not a good idea it's actually going to slow down your computer so RAM memory is what the computer uses all the time. It's its workspace. And of course, um, in general, if you look at your task manager anyway, you'll have an idea. Four gigabytes will be enough for most people. Eight gigabytes will be enough for the majority if you know 99% of the people. And if you have specific, very specific needs and work with really really huge files and very very uh, big programs then it's possible that you know 16 but in general um, upgrading to more than 8 is a waste of money for most people if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online hope you enjoy this back to basics series and we're gonna have tons of videos explaining lots of things about computers and the basics of the computers and hopefully you'll enjoy and learn a little more thank you for watching and hope you'll continue on our channel